Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So a lot of people keep asking me one important question again and again. Is the team tool is safe to use? So some say it's dangerous, some say it's completely fine. So today in this video, I'll give you my honest experience. I'll show you that I am also using it. And most importantly, I'll explain all the precautions you must follow in if you decide to use it. So must watch this video till the end because one small mistake can cause big problems. First, let's understand what Steam Tool actually is. Steam Tool is a third-party utility used by some users to manage, test, or assess games in offline or local environments. It is not developed or supported by Valve or Steam, which means it does not follow official Steam policies. That's why people are confused about its safety. So now let me be very clear and honest with you i have been using steam tool on my own system for testing and educational purposes as you can see on screen it's installed and running on my pc so i did not face any virus i did not face any system danger any system damage i did not experience any background mining or suspicious activities you can see my antivirus is on and you can see i did not face any virus or if I show you in the background, you can see, you can see I did not experience any background mining or suspicious activity. You can see my process or you can see all is running good. So is Steam Tool safe? The short answer, yes, it can be safe, but it is not 100% risk free. Steam tool itself is not automatic dangerous, but careless usage can put your system or accounts at risk. That's why precautions are extremely important. So I will tell you some precautions that are very important. So please follow all these precautions and enjoy your games. First of all, use a separate Steam account. That means never ever use your main Steam account. Create a separate test account that has no purchase no email no valuable data if anything happen your main account stays safe second always use offline mode do not use online or multiplayer modes steam tool should only be used in offline or local mode online usage increases account risk network detection possible bans it means offline use is much safer so you can see i created a uh, separate account on which i'll show you how you can uh, play games using steam tools that's why i did not add any email or i did not purchase any game from it or i did not give any of my bank details and third is install game on a separate drive so you can see if i show you you can see these are, are my drives so in this drive new volume f i will download all the games i will download all steam games that works on steam tools you can see gta 5 steam library and you can see common and here is my red dead redemption and all the game i install on this separate drive the reason is very very important because this is very important if many people ignore do not install games on your main system for uh, system drive c here you can see this is my main system drive c so Remember, do not install any game on your main system drive C. Instead, create a separate drive like ED and any other like I have done. Install all Steam Tool games only on that drive. Because this protect your Windows system files. Easy cleanup if needed. So, less risk of system corruption. If I face any danger from these files, what I gonna do? I gonna right click and here click on format and the format the drive and my data will be saved completely future safety if you reinstall windows so if something goes wrong you can simply format or remove that drive without any da damage your os number four scan everything before installation before installing scan the files with windows defender sometimes it asks a danger file or something because these files are, are edited files or these are because these games are bypassed so uh, so the developers uh, crack the game 
using different codes and edit this file that's why windows defender uh, flag it as a dangerous file so what you need you need to you need to allow the file and then after testing and doing your bypass you can again on your windows defender number five never enter personal information so this is very important to remember do not enter your real email address enter password or link account save personal data Treat Steam tool as rest in one as a test environment only. Number six, download only trusty source. So many problems happen because people download modified or fake variants. So I in the previous video I'll show you how you can download Steam tool or how you can add games. So go and watch the video. Avoid random website, avoid sketchy links, a clean file from a trusty source, reduce a risk lot reduce lot of risk. Let's clear some myth. Steam tool will instantly hack your PC. This is completely false, not true if used correctly. Everyone using it get banned. It's completely false. Most issue happen due to wrong usage. The real danger, the real danger is carelessness, not the Steam tool alone. So this video is made for educational and information purposes only. I am not promoting misuses, and I am not. I am only sharing my personal experience and safety awareness. You are fully responsible for how to use any third party software. So my final opinion is Steam tool can be used safely only if you follow all precautions. If you ignore safety rules, you take the risk yourself. Be smart, be cautious and protect your system. If you if this video helped you, hit the like button, subscribe and thanks for watching.